Black girls must see themselves represented in comics, period. Storm of the X-Men and Misty Knight both shut it down in the mid-70s, and now there's an actual group of women warriors in Black Panther that you don't want to mess with. Yes, queen. But how did we get here? The name is Torchy Brown, and this is her story. Torchy Brown and Dixie to Harlem hit the Pittsburgh Courier in 1937. The weekly comic strip ran for a year with over 50 episodes. Torchy was a smart, adventurous young woman from Mississippi. She didn't have any superpowers, but she did battle racism and sexism. Wait, that kind of is a superpower. And Jackie Orms, the first black woman with a syndicated comic strip, was her creator. Jackie Orms is super important when we're talking about the history of comics, period. I, I don't even want to relocate it to just black comics, but comics. That's Sheena Howard. She's a professor, comic book writer, and the first black woman to win an Eisner Award. Torchy Brown and Dixie to Harlem was a narrative about the Great Migration, a time when millions of black folks left their menial jobs in the South for the promise of a better life. Torchy had big city dreams of singing and dancing in Harlem's Cotton Club. But even our heroine had haters. She faced a possessive aunt who wanted to keep her in Mississippi and club managers who didn't want to give a sister a break. Through Torchy and future characters, Orms had the opportunity to address some of the major issues of the day. The very start of comics is political. It started out as comic strips and newspapers. Comics have challenged the political status quo the same way that black leaders have challenged the political sta status quo. After Torchy Brown and Dixie to Harlem completed its run, Orms continued to document black culture and history in comic strips for nearly two decades. After Torchy, there was Candy and Patty Joe and Ginger. And y'all, Orms' work is finally getting some recognition. In 2018, she'll be inducted into the Will Eisner Comic Awards Hall of Fame. The Torchy comics were limited to black publications, but she set the tone for superheroes like Bumblebee, Vixen, the Crimson Avenger, Lunella Lafayette, who, according to the Hulk, is the smartest girl in the world, and Superb's Amina. So not only are black girls magical, we're super powerful and supernatural too. Hey, what's up? It's Alex Clark with The Root. We're gonna bring you a lot more new series and videos like this every week. So let us know what you think below and make sure to subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Thanks for watching.